Good evening gamers, today it's time for another deck and fight as we wrap up stuff from set 4 before we go into set 6. Um, so there are two decks that we haven't actually looked at yet, which are Asha and Altmile. So they're about to get another wave of support, which feels a little bit too soon, not gonna lie. But before they do, I want to feature these decks in their current states in the set 4 kind of build, because I know for you guys in the set 4 meta, this is kind of what you want to be looking at, right? Now unfortunately for Altmile, I only have two of the new GR Altmile mouse right and i'm probably going to keep it that way even with a new old my releasing because i think with a new one coming out it's probably going to be a 2-2 split um and just basically run it like that because i still want to run stuff like saint blow in my lineup so probably going to be taking that kind of approach but the deck has definitely changed quite a bit in old pile is like you can mold it in any way you want you can build it with sanctuary guard with jewel knights with virtually anything but you can also play it pure so today i'm going to take a look at a pure build but i think when we take a look at like jewel knights in the future or like Sanctuary Guard in the future, you're probably going to be seeing Old Miles in there too because he's just such a generically good boss unit. All right, so let's take a look at the deck build itself and some of my choices here in deck building. Uh, so the list is definitely going to be changing quite a bit going into the next set, but this is kind of what I'm running with right now. And I've had some pretty good results on ladder in testing as well. So of course, all models are main grade three. Nothing has changed here. He's an old boss unit now from set one that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. But the backup grade three running is not really a backup, but our second grade three running is Gancelot. So Gancelot is just because like if you're playing this pure, there's not much else you'd really want to be playing as a backup like none of the other backup grade threes are really that good until we get another alt mile in the future which we will um because in his in hand you can put him back to deck and search out a blaster blade which of course if we run four gansalls we run four blaster blades you don't use the retire skill that much because it's a pretty heavy cb investment with no counter charge in the deck outside of pgs so you usually just search it out for an intercept right just have a beater and of course we play the one crit just to round out but you can play another grade three if you want as a trigger if you want to play the ninth draw but i think this deck plus is enough to run the one crit let's say um then we still run four pier i was running two i was running three at one point but i still felt like four was the best because especially in the late game turns where you're like doing a bunch of multi-attacks in the main phase thanks to benizel you really value that plus 2k he gives to his column so i think four of pier is pretty good otherwise you can cut down one to play a second column copy of the battle song angel which says gb1 if you have two or more other grade one or lower rear guards he gets plus 2k and resists so he's a resist grade one but the condition to set that up is pretty heavy at times because you really need to have a like basically almost a full board of um well no you have to have a full back row of grade ones because you have to have other two or more other grade one or lowers right so you need to have three grade ones in total on the board in order to give him resist which is kind of heavy in this kind of uh lineup of the deck but that's the grade one lineup of course the starter is still milius because he's a searcher for any grade two the new addition is of course the benizel which i think i'll be putting up to four going into the next set and putting knight of twin sword down to three but for now we're playing three benizels uh gb1 when placed on rear if you bang it as a grade three or greater alt mile can almost one soul boss one and then search your deck for a grade two that is not benizel call it and give it plus 2k so it's a nice Nice way to just immediately tutor something out without waiting for the battle phase which with twin sword you had to wait for the battle phase with this you could do it in main phase but you only can run one starter in your deck so it's a nice way to tutor stuff out in the main phase or just on call from an ability so that's also very nice and we still play two blaster blade spirits which you know are just a front row pop right that's our main preferred way of front row popping because only one kennel blast i think two will probably stay honestly going into the next set i think the main thing that changes is just like Benizel to four and Knight of Twin Sword to three in set six. That's kind of how I'm looking at things right now. The Blaster Blades are just here for being Blaster Blades, right? For being searchable and that's it. And then of course, Seal Guards are in here. Our first right is still between either the Gablade, which will be going down to one of next set, which is an on-hit Vanguard, search a grade two and call it. And of course, the other first right target is Samuel, which is an on-attack Vanguard when your opponent has four or less damage. If you have exactly five rears, count them as one, deal an opponent to one damage. The Messiah Strike can help as well in order to just make sure we don't die to that matchup of course the same blow is still here as a two of on attack g personal blast to give him plus 3k for every rear you have and if you have two or more face up in your g zone he gets a crit and then all of your grade twos have the ability that they cannot be retired by card effects until the end of your opponent's turn but the big new addition of course to this deck is the abs mile the new all well, well stride so he has two good skills first one is all your former units get plus 3k power so this helps you make magic numbers with the deck as well and especially when you're comboing off with knight of twin sword that extra power can be really 
really helpful. And his GB2 is when he is placed. So when you stride him, this didn't used to be GB2, now it is. Um, so you have to stride something else first. You can flip G Persona flip, so you have to play two copies of him at least. And then switch your deck for a grade two and call it and give that unit plus 5k, which again can help you make 21k columns in order to hit over defensive. So that's the deck. Eight draw, one crit is basically the lineup. And I think going into set six, we're probably going to be cutting down on one Gablade and one of the of the Samuels in order to put in the two new alt miles and basically keep the rest of the Gs on in the deck. More, more or less the same, so it's actually pretty cheap to upgrade this. Like if you're a alt mile one trick, this is actually a pretty nice deck to keep upgrading because you just need to pick up like two GRs at a time. You know, you can definitely like play this deck with four of the alt miles. It's probably going to be better, but I want to also show the world that, hey, you don't need to have play sets of the cards that people say that have to be play sets. All right, finally found an opponent. Good God, it's so hard to find opponents at this hour. Like it's like 5 a.m. in Japan right now, but man, it really is hard. But I just had one game that I recorded halfway through and then I realized that my blue stacks was lagging a lot. So I was like, okay, this is not going to really make for much content. Um, this hand is also pretty okay. Actually, we have like a stride fodder and an all mile searcher. So I'm going to keep with this. But I had a pretty cool game, played against Blademaster and won it despite making a big misplay at one point. Um, but yeah, I think the lag is fixed, so I think it should be better now. Um, but I was like, I don't want to show off like a laggy game uh, for, you know, a deck and fight. Looks like we're playing against duos though, so this is of course one of the big strong decks of the current set. But, of course, it's nothing that we can't handle in these streets. <laughs> so we don't have all in hand yet, but we can search it out with a Stride Fodder if necessary. And technically, we put the Gansalot back there already, but in this, these instances, you want to actually hold on to it because if I have to do the search for Alt Mile, then I definitely want to save the Gansalot in hand in order to, you know, have that as a Stride Fodder afterwards, right? So, calling down Roan, probably going to be putting down the Duo PG. No, they're not. Okay, so Roan's actually going to get wasted here. At least one of the Roans. That's kind of good. Also, tells us that they probably don't have a PG in hand, uh, which is also good news, in my opinion. I'm assuming he's not going to bounce the starter because you can't play more than one starter in the deck anyway. Uh, we're going to ride the spirit here because, of course, 10k base can turn off aggro, which is always good. Um, and then we're going to call down this stride fodder, discarding a blaster blade uh, in order to search out the alt mile. So it didn't search out the rank fodder, rank ladder reward rather one, um, but still fine. I think we don't want to overcommit here because we our hand is like five cards. We're going to need these grade 2s for later. We don't have the uh, the Benizel in order to just call down and, and you know, make units. Uh, so we can just stick with this back row and then when we stride over alt mile, he'll also buff up our back row so we can make stuff out of it. Ooh, this is looking more like the new age duo lists that we took, uh, had a look at the other day with running the Mir break ride, but Honestly, there's some interesting pieces in here that I, I'm not used to seeing. Duo crits. Does this have an effect? No, it's when your other rear guard is bounced to hand. So you can use Ron's effect here to bounce the crit, which he's going to choose not to. Okay. PG goes to the bottom. That's good news. A heal gets checked, which is not the end of the world. We have some good aggression this turn, so I'm not really too bothered here. Benny's all going to damage. Kind of hurts. But yeah, the reason, like... Playing this deck in the current rendition of it, also I realized why I play three Twin Sword, or four Twin Sword rather, because like when you can't strike, Twin Sword is your only form of multi attack, right? So it's really, really important to keep that in mind. Uh, we are gonna go into the Gablade here. Pier could, I mean, honestly, Samuel could have been a choice because we can actually make a full board here with the Pier in hand. Um, but I think it's okay. I think it's all right here. So we can basically do Call Pier and Call Knight of Twin Sword, and then use a starter to call out a Blaster Blade Spirit. Um, to the column that the peer is in, but the peer will get... Sh if I call the peer second, does it not proc? I think maybe what I'll do here is only call the Twin Sword. Only call the Twin Sword, and then power up this column, and then put back the Buster Blade here. Then, we're gonna call this out. We're gonna uh, rearrange this to call out the Blaster Blade Spirit, so that this way the Spirit hits for the right numbers. Um, you know, unboosted against the Vanguard, and we can do some nice aggro here as well. So take out the Roan first, and you know, being 3 to 1 allows me to aggress a little bit, which is also very vital. Uh, so we're gonna swing here unboosted, and this way we can call whatever we want after that as well. Um, here we can actually kind of make a column. The only thing is that it doesn't really make a point to call anything, to be honest, with Twin Swords. So we might want to save it. Uh, so I'm thinking. We probably want to save the CB, I think. 
In any case, it's 26, so I think let's swing with Vanguard first and see what we check. Let's see what we check first before we commit to the searches. Let's commit the peer, the power to the peer column. Okay, we get one trigger, so we're gonna act accordingly. No defensive in a PG goes to hell. <laughs> I love saying it goes to hell. I feel like it's quite fitting. Um, Benizel could extend a little bit, but it's not really necessary for now, so I think we can call the Blaster Blade just like a filler. Grade 2, that can hit for numbers. So this way we're still hitting for the right numbers, the 23 here. Necessary to get over the defensive. Um, and then if there's no triggers... Uh, f oh my god, all PGs are out. All PGs are out, that is huge. Okay, I think we want to search another Twin Sword for next turn here. Oh, we don't have one. Um, Crap. Ah, damn it, I wish I could have... I should have looked at my deck first. My bad. I only have one CB. I will just prepare grade 2s for later then. It's not... Uh, this is a terrible misplay. I should have looked at my deck first. My idea... Oh, no, what am I saying? I was using Twin Sword. How could I search a Twin Sword from Twin Sword? I'm sorry, guys. Terribly sorry that was my own misplay, but... Pretty good. We pushed from 1 to 5 there. It's a pretty good offensive, if you ask me. Uh, but definitely misplayed on the last Twin Sword. Um, I was like, why can't... What, why can't I use Twin Sword? I was like, wait, yeah, I'm using Twin Sword. That's why I can't use Twin <laughs> That's why I can't find the Twin Sword. So, misplays there, but it's okay. Duo Stride coming down with... We know there's no PGs. We know there's no PGs in hand. Um, so... Does this clone duos? Um, if your heart is a duo... Ooh, search that unit. So, technically... Could clone a heal guard, but I don't think that's what you want to do right now. Gonna put the crit back here. That's alright, that's understandable. And now gonna pro proc the piece in order to draw. That doesn't get the counter charge, so it only has two pieces in hand, I'm assuming. Which is alright. Next turn, I think we want to go into the Ultimate Stride. I think we go into Ultimate Stride and just make a Twin Sword um, in front of the uh, Cecilius there. Because of course, it's like that has like no control, and the multi attacks are limited to only Spika, so can't do much without that. And but we're definitely gonna go to. I mean, we're probably gonna go to four here actually. So the one CB we get from the uh, from being damaged, we can use on the Twin Sword, which is good. But uh, now this is where I kind of you know I regret overcalling the Pier as well because it would have been so huge in the Twin Sword turns here as well. So that was a misplay, but alas, enough beating myself up over it. He hits a heal, which is pretty big, actually. Um, as we only take one damage here, we're gonna check a Blaster Blade, which is fine. Gonna bounce the piece, which can now use his effect to draw. Might actually dig into the PG at this point. Not yet, but definitely getting close. Alright, that's the turn for my opponent. We get a PG in hand, finally, that's good to see. Uh, we're gonna go into the All Mouse Stride here, because I think it's the best offensive. So we're gonna ditch the Gancelot, in order to see what we can... Draw into first. If it's a great one, that's great. If not, it's okay too. That's a great one. That is a great one. Uh, let's first make a twin sword. First, let's make a twin sword. Pull it out over here. Um, and then. Yeah, we don't have any spirits because we have to soul blast one out. We're going to call this out here. And most importantly, give the power here. And here. I think it's okay. Put the spear back. We're gonna potentially need that. Don't need to use this for now. Um, and here, the combo is gonna go as follows. We're gonna swing here, into the rear, and swing the vanguard into the rear, and then the twin sword will be what's gonna extend our combo here. He goes to the bottom, that's not great. Another BG goes to the bottom, that's also not great. But we're at four, and my opponents, their damage input, out output sorry, can get pretty crazy going forward. Um, so we do have to be a little bit careful here. Um... At this point, we're going to call the Blaster Blade Spirit, even though it doesn't do too much. So, this way, we have a nice number. We can hit. Uh, this does get checked by Heelguard, of course, which will get checked. That's fine. Uh, so now what's to be afraid of is that there is three heals in drop, which will probably be going back to deck, because I'm assuming my opponent will now break ride. Oh, no, it's not the Legion. Okay, it's a pure mirror deck. Okay. If you're mirror deck, then I'm not so afraid. That means the heals are going to stay out. But I might actually die to the offensive here. The offensive is really, really huge here because they get essentially, what, two rear attacks, which will go to my rears. And Vanguard swings, I go to five. And then two more rear guard swings. Uh, hold up. How does it work again? It goes rear, rear, then I go to five. And then he basically bounces the stuff, calls two. And then he rewrites the van, right? So then the two rears go to my face. Um, at which point I have to guard guard, 
And then the Vanguard swings again, standing, getting two rears out again. So I'm probably dead. Too many attacks. Too many attacks. Actually getting killed by Mir here. Getting destroyed by the fish. Unless we get a defensive, it can help for sure. A defensive will probably save us from the rear swings because the boosts are not really there. Uh, but it really depends on what we will see in the defensive. And especially if my opponent heals down here, as they still have a heal remaining in deck potentially, or in hand. So we'll see. What's going to be the verdict? What are they going to call out? 12k attacker, 12k attacker, as is expected. Crit gets checked. So much for defensives. Hold up, that's kind of scary. That's a little scary, brother. Okay, if, well, the heal guard is still going to protect me there. Is that good? That might potentially save me from the next Vanguard swing, because it's not going to be very powerful. Alright, the mirror gets rewritten. I'm in danger, but I don't know how big of a danger I'm in. Alright, swinging with this. But they're still... Alright. No, with this, I think that's... Are there more attacks after this? We PG this, that's for sure. But... She doesn't have the effect anymore, right? So yeah, that's the last attack. Sorry, I was I was bugging on some more attacks. I was like, I was thinking about like actual like V series Bermuda at this point. <laughs> Prism PTSD got me, got me rolling. All right, we don't even need to stride here. We have the GB2 of Alt Mile. It's time to go in, Blaster Blade, do your job, use the last of our CB for a good purpose. As I mean, there's still potentially two defensive cards in hand that we do have to be careful of, but we're gonna go ahead and try and see what kind of offensive remains in this hand. The PG from earlier, and the draw. This will hit over heal guard. So this is off the last PGs, and if the if he has drawn into the PG, this could be over. He did not. He did not, and that's the last heal, so I think we have the victory. Oof. Good god, that was scary. That was a scary game, but a great way to show off all bow, I think. You know, you got to see that the stride is there for the, like, the, the tutoring, I suppose. Uh, it's definitely a good first game. Also nice to play against Mir, a, a variant that I don't see on ladder too much. So yeah, let's go run it down for another one. Alright, game two against Alka Force. Let's go. Haruto. Let's have a good one. I'm assuming this is going to be probably... Uh, Leonskin could be Maelstrom, but I'm assuming it's going to be Thalas. It is kind of the top contender here in this current format. Uh, we'll put the drop back, I think... Honestly, it's even a question, do you put the Gansalot back? Because you can, you can, you know, put it back whenever. Uh, but I guess we try to draw into a PG, as always. Twin Sword is fine, too. But these, you know, the, the right targets are good. Strife Fodder in hand is good, even if we're going first. Looks like it is Tavas, which is understandable. We get a PG. Ooh, double PG right off the bat. That's excellent. All right, let's ride the Pier as usual. Pier's a pretty boy. He a pretty little boy. All right. So, let's pass here. Going first, of course. We technically could do some early aggression, but it's not really worth it. We don't play Starlight Violinist anymore, either. And there's definitely a lot of cards we've kicked, like, you know, Starlight Violinist and, you know, stuff like the um, Knight of Fragment. Like, that's kind of the issue um, right now in all mile and in the future with Luard is that you're limited to these grade 2 slots, right? You're limited to these grade 2 slots and you can't do anything about it. Like, straight up nothing. So... Like the, the, it's even though in the TCG you would play like 20 grade twos, you know, or something crazy like that, but not, not, not that many, but you know, quite a lot. You're limited to 13 here, right? And it's, it can definitely hurt. It can definitely get a bit annoying when your deck is so focused around the grade twos, right? And the same for Luard later on in the future, it's going to be kind of like only 13 grade ones. You got your stride fodders, you got your PGs, and then you, you got to fit in the owls and the the sword breaker and all this other stuff but oh wow my two spirits are out of rotation that kind of hurts that kind of hurts <laughs> all right we're gonna push a little bit here uh start off a little aggression uh calling down the blaster blade i think we don't need to worry about retiring anything but i do want to make a bit of a difference in the damage if we can heal out i mean if we heal we don't even heal the blaster blade spirit yet so that's gonna be off the table anyway we do rip a heal off the top so that's good the aggression is going to be rewarded. So let's see. No defense on my opponent's side and swinging here. He runs the Legion, which I don't agree with, but I can imagine some uh, players probably feel a bit uneasy with how long games can go against stuff like Angels. And then even Tabas draws a lot, so it needs to read Legion at some point just to kind of make sure you don't run out of gas. So, you know, I kind of get it, I guess. Maybe it's a new adaptation, but let's see. You know, Aquaforce is the one one of the few clans that I think don't have any great three legions. 
Like, I don't think they ever got a Legion, but Legion's with another grade 3. Like, it's always been just with grade 2s. So, no revivals. They just had Maelstrom Breakride, basically. <laughs> Maelstrom Breakride. They got, of course, Tetra Boil, I guess. And Tetra... Tetra... Yeah, Tetra Boil and... What was the other one? I forgot. <laughs> I forget. Anger Boil? Yeah, Anger Boil, I think the other one was. Okay. Basil, and then he's going to use a starter to give the Basil the double attack. I think that makes sense. Right? I'm assuming. That's why I also called out the intercept because I know Aqua Force is hungry, man. They go crazy on the offensive. Oh no, I'm gonna call the Saber Flow. Okay. Interesting. What does this guy even do again? When attacks the Vanguard if you're in Legion. Okay, so basically nothing. And if you're in Legion, okay, so basically nothing. <laughs> on a Thavas turn, nothing. I will learn what it does later on. Oh, why swing with that? This is your fourth attack, so you wanna. You can't pop my starter. And if you hit with a third. You could have maybe like called a booster with the on hit to the grade two, and then, you know, if it was if the grade two was an Algos, it might have hit the twenty six, but I guess not. But it's okay. <laughs> not gonna choose to call anything understandable. Uh, so yeah, this is where it kind of hurts that we don't have our good friend. Ooh, we have a good hand though. Look at this. This could be a Samuel going first. This could be a Samuel, I think, because we have plenty of grade ones, and we can feel the grade twos for it too. I think that's actually a worthy play. Let's go for it. Why not? Why not? All right, ditching the strike fodder here. Let's go for Samuel and push the damage offensive. No need for uh, you know, blaster blade spirit when we've got other good offensive power, right? So I think here it's a little tough because I might need to call out my stride fodder. Probably will. Um, and then I'm a bit worried for my stride options in the future. Thing is, I could also just call down the two grade ones here and then use. I have a better idea. Yep, I have a better idea. We're gonna call you and you. Okay. I know it doesn't look like it makes sense for now, but stay, bear with me here. Bear with me here. Okay. <laughs> bear with me. We're gonna use this. Technically, could have changed the line, the, the lines a little bit, but it's okay. We're gonna call the Benizel. Benizel skill is going to call out uh, virtually anything because, of course, you know, we can't freaking... We just need to soul blast this out, okay? We can soul blast this out, call out virtually anything um, that can swing. It can be the blaster blade, I guess, and we'll put the twin sword to the back so we can have the exact five rear guards. And our back row isn't necessarily safe from, you know, the aggression, but it's okay. So we make do like this, and then we just bash bash. And then use Samuel to ping two, so we push to five while, yes, we lose the heal perspective on this turn, but I like the idea of pushing to five here. I think it's pretty good. All right, damage check. And then we check a Twin Sword. We check a draw. That's good too. Gansalot is also nice. Good Strive Fodder slash draw that goes back to deck. And a heal guard, which is also nice. So we're going to push to five. No heals come out, so that's also good. And now next turn, we can basically go into Alt Mile. If my back row gets destroyed, if my Twin Sword gets sniped, we can search out the Twin Sword. And if not, we can search out the Blast Play Spirit that we're going to put back with Alt Mile skill. So overall, it's good stuff. Honestly. Not too bad, not too bad. We're off to a good start, let's say, against this Tapas player. Is this a Lambros turn? It's not. Okay, so Socrates is kind of annoying, I guess. Because when text the Vanguard, it it's... Oh no, wait, that's not the Retire one. Never mind, it's not that annoying. <laughs> it would have been annoying if it was the Retire guy, but that's the he has a different pose. This guy like has a sword up, the other guy is like, looking down on you from above. So that's the guy that I'm afraid of, but... Alright, I guess it's more of a budget Aqua Force list then. Um, because I understand maybe not going for Lambros here, but then Commander Thavos would have been probably optimal. And if not, then, you know, the other guy that retires stuff to punish my back row commitments here. But, ooh, the double high type uh, swing will be cool. <clears throat> will it swing double, though? Because you can't stand it, right? This is, this just gains, when your unit attacks, right, a Vanguard, it gives it plus five. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see what will be the play. I don't think there's a way to actually give a 6 damage to me, let's say. I think that you're basically going with Basil to face, then trade the rears. So therefore, giving the... Like, giving the starter skill to the to the high... Is, is it called... It's not high tide, right? Oh, it is high tide. Giving this, this skill to the high tide doesn't really make sense here, I think. Because you can't actually swing it to face. Unless he's going to swing the van... Oh, he's going to swing the van to rear. 
and give it trick give triggers of the high tide so he can check a heal guard no he's not then that didn't make sense at all okay then that didn't make sense at all um because you're giving yourself plus five for what purpose oh wow he actually hit the high oh wow look at that he hit the knight of twin sword yeah, you can't just you know fat finger agree to cattle busting one for 5k when it's like it's just dealing a damage anyway right all right maybe our opponent's learning thabas as they go you know i'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be rude we're just gonna go with it go with the flow you know uh how many blaster blades in deck two I guess we can pop this i kind of want to keep the grade ones around though i think it's fine as it is so i'm gonna keep the grade one around and here ah uh, Benizel could be the play as well, to be honest. Um, we're gonna first call down the Grade 1 from hand here. Call the Grade 1 from hand. We can use Benizel. Um, so we're gonna put back the Spirit. Put back the Spirit and then use this skill. Let me look at my Grade 2s. I have two Benizel, two Knight of Twin Sword. I think we can call the Benizel. And then we still have the CB for Twin Sword after that, so that's also fine. It's either that or like... Or freaking twin sword anyway so i think it's fine either way um yep activate this soul blast appear and then call out the twin sword it's either twin sword or like blaster blade spirit either one is technically fine um but i think it's cool like this to make use of the buff that we have to the front row from old Mal. so i think we want to make use of the multi-attack here more so than anything else all right with that i think we're good to go get into the offensive how many great twos do you have left in deck four that's perfectly fine um, we want to swing here. 26 is also asking for a PG, which is excellent. We can call... I think they're reaching similar power levels with, uh, plus 3 from... Like, it's 24, uh... It's 24, so it would be 25. Yeah, it is similar power levels. Alright, this is gonna be 36, so this is... Oh, 38, rather, sorry. That was 36 without the plus 2 from Pier. Alright, so this is gonna be a PG risk necessary as well. Is not gonna have it, so gonna have to bet on a heal. Oh, it's the last three in deck, so it's actually a pretty high chance to heal, but will not. Alright, unfortunately, my thought was the point it was not blessed by luck and uh, the future of the world today. But we had a pretty good time, pretty good game, pretty good set. So I'm just gonna three win streak with the one game that I had to not finish recording because of the lag but pretty good hey look at that my first i think it was my first time hitting level 40 on a client too because of course i used to play mlb a lot back in the day and now i've been enjoying jewel knights a lot during the limit break era and now i've been definitely enjoying alt mal and friends quite a bit too so you know it's another way to gain gems i suppose which is definitely quite cool but yeah so that's alt mal in set four we will be coming back to all my very soon with the set six update because of course the deck doesn't change that much so it shouldn't take me too much practice um to update the deck and give you guys the content because you know some of these decks i'm really playing for the first time and like learning how they go so it takes me a longer time to get the deck and fights ready but here's my old list feel free to try it out explore different options explore different ratios and stuff like that i think it's a really really fun deck and of course i recommend anyone that likes royals to try it out as well so yeah guys that's gonna be it for me today if you liked the video please do give it a like and if you haven't already please Please do subscribe because we're trying to reach that 50k and we're getting closer and closer and closer but on that note that's gonna be it for me today thank you so much for watching take care stay safe and i'll see you guys next time bye bye